one thing I forgot to mention, ooh, excuse me, is <laughs> I did the one litre five percent lager challenge, uh, as set out by various YouTubers out there, and um, I failed. I, I mean, I, I consumed the litre, but it was also a fail, and. Um, Please, please like this video, or comment if you'd like to see that fail. It was filmed, and um, yeah, there's no shame. I suppose it's quite it's quite funny, really. It, it was a bit of a challenge and a bit of a funny thing to do. So um, I'm I'm keen to put it up. Let me know if you're keen. Cheers. Well, here we are in the garage. Um, cicadas outside just chirping away. Really loud buggers they are. Um, thought I'd get myself a bit of a taste of the uh, Keith Beer. Uh, my temperature probe. So, uh, can you hear? Man, that is a very nice creamy head. This is the, um, the candy red ale or red IPA that I made. Um, it does actually have a slight red hue to it. A little bit cloudy actually, which I'm disappointed in. And um, that kind of turns it a bit brown. But um, otherwise, it smells quite nice. Yeah, you're definitely getting the cascade and um, Zyphos is sitting back there somewhere. Lots of sweetness from the um, golden syrup and honey and the malt. And then the hops just bitter it out nicely. They just cover it and um, balance it out sweet. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good beer. Good one to have on tap, actually. I'll probably brew something like this again. So, um, about a week ago, uh, last Wednesday, uh, had about six people over, just um, just beer enthusiasts and brewers from uh, just just in town here in Nelson, and um, uh, we all sort of stood around here and hung around the keg and had a few pints each, and it was um, oh, it was a good time. I'm strongly thinking about um, putting my man cave in here actually uh, because of the drainage issue uh, under the house and the other room. So um, new man cave spot. Where the keg is, that's where the guys are, I suppose, so there you go. But I know it was a really good, really good night. Um, we only sort of hung out for about an hour and a half or so. Um, had a bit of a catch up and all that. Uh, we even had a, um, a guy from the States, uh, Dennis, who uh, came over and um, that was really cool. He's, um, I don't know if you'd say he's a tourist, he's, he's been here before, he knows the area a little bit and he. Um, him and his wife just come here, oh, so far each year, and they um, go and do the walkways and things, and um, check out the beaches, and um, the beer, obviously, so um, he came round, he enjoyed a pint or two, and um, he gave me about, what was it, four ounces, because it's from the States, four ounces of um, hops, and I'm just trying to remember what they were, to be honest, um, was it Willamette, or... It's in the it's in the fridge. Uh, four four packets of hops anyway, and um, American hops. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll uh, probably do a brew with those. Maybe just like a sort of a one trick pony sort of single hop sort of beer, and um, check out the hops and see what they're like. Um, if I remember what they are, I'll put a I'll put a, a message in the video so you guys can can see and comment if you need to. But um, yeah, no, that was really nice of them. Um, nice wee gift. So. Um, I know in return I might give them some New Zealand hops or something like that, we'll see how we go. Um, I am actually doing a massive hop order from uh, Bill at thatfairplace.com. I am going to order one kilo of Nelson Savin, uh, 100 gram packets of Pacifica, um, Southern Cross, Cascade, Motueka, Rewaka, I think that's it actually. 
So that's going to be a nice haul. It's probably going to cost about eighty dollars. Um, the cool thing is all the grain that I won from the last home brew competition is probably worth about eighty dollars. So I might end up doing a trade with Bill and um, might walk away with the hops for free, I suppose. Well, not for free because I'm sort of giving away about twenty. 25 kilos of grain anyway, so um, yeah, that's alright. Swap some grain for hops, should be good. Um, speaking of hops, my hops are growing pretty well. I'll show you a video of that now. Uh, this is what we came for the hops. There's a couple in here, and uh, this guy's still not really. Getting very high, it's probably finished growing now I suppose, but um, you can see they go right down there. I actually had a bit of wind and one of them's fallen off, but um, you should be able to see. It does, have a, it does have a few hops on them over there, so. So the hops are working out. Um, first year that I've actually got a yield on them, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, not too sure what I'll do with them yet, um, we'll see. But, um, yeah, I don't know, not really a lot else going on here. Um, this is probably the only brew I've done in a little while, uh, and I'm planning on doing more, uh, hence the order of hops. Uh, I'll probably just do, uh, what do you call it? I, I won't do any mashing or anything, I'll, I'll just do a, um, just a malt extract there. Um, I'll go and buy some plain light liquid malt extract and, um, Bitter it up and hop it up to ship, make it really hoppy. Um, I've been doing American hops for a little while now and I thought, well, let's bring it back to local and I'll crack into the New Zealand hops. Because um, I've got my favourites, but I also wanted to try some new ones. Um, so Nelson Savin is my favourite, I'd say. Uh, probably followed by Much Waker and Cascade, New Zealand Cascade that is. So that's why I got the kilo of Nelson Savin and... Um, underground packets of the other ones, so I can try them, see what they're like, and um, report back, I guess. Um, yeah, I like hops, what more can I say? <laughs> um, um, shout out to no one in particular, but all of you guys, really. Um, I know I haven't really been forthcoming with many videos of late, so... Um, I thought it was about time I put one out there, did a nice long spiel and a bit of an update really. And um, shout out to you guys anyway, thanks for um, all your videos, it's awesome. I've been keeping track and seeing what people are up to. Um, the 2014 SJ4 homebrew competition or experiment, that's looking pretty cool. I'm so keen to get into that. Um, I will probably do an iteration of my black IPA, but... To kind of keep the experimental side of it, um, not that that's necessary, uh, I'm going to hop it differently, I think, and maybe just change the grain bill a little bit, see what happens. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't want to give it all away, I kind of want to keep some of it secret, but um, that's my idea, we'll see how that goes. And um, I don't know, I might even brew a second beer, just in case, you know, one of them turns out a bit funny. Um, probably just two different styles and, you know, maybe just pick the best one and chuck that into the comp so I'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've got at the moment, I think. Um, I think, I think, I think. Um, yeah, won't bore you too much longer, so um, I'm going to finish this, uh, have something to eat, get back to work, because it's lunchtime, and lunch break's almost over. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.